The UK's first climate refugees must soon abandon their homes. This is Fairborn, stranded between the mountains and the rising sea, home to around a thousand people on the edge of Snowdonia. They will soon be forced to leave their community, their homes abandoned to the waves. Fairborn is only two and a half metres above sea level, but twice a month the tides are higher. The council says it's losing the battle against nature, and by the 2050s it will stop maintaining the sea defences. But Fairborn is not the only place being taken by the steadily rising tides. The government's climate change advisers say more than a million coastal properties are at risk across the UK. Long stretches of the Yorkshire coastline are being eaten away. Buildings in Norfolk have fallen into the sea. Haysborough has lost 35 homes, and properties near Southwold are likely to be next. Coastal erosion has always taken place, but climate change is accelerating sea level rise and intensifying storms threatening critical infrastructure as well as homes. Around £150 billion worth of assets are estimated to be at risk, including more than a quarter of the UK's oil refining capacity, nearly a third of the country's gas supply, 14,000 kilometres of roads, 1,000 kilometres of rail lines, and vast tracts of farmland and wildlife habitats. Across the globe, the number of people devastated by extreme weather is spiralling with climate change now forcing someone out of their home every two seconds. Fairborn may be the first of the UK's communities to surrender to the sea, but it won't be the last. <laughs>